Walmart officials say this decision was not taken lightly. This is one of 24 stores they're closing nationwide, but this is the only one in our area that's affected. But it has a huge impact, especially for the neighborhoods. The Towson Walmart, a staple at the Towson Place Shopping Center, is closing its doors next month. What? <laughs> no, I, I think it's terrible. And the reason I think it's terrible because we used to have a Walmart in, in Owings Mills. Now we don't have, now we're not going to have one in Towson. I'm going to really miss this store. I don't even know where the nearest one is. Many say they will have to drive to White Marsh or beyond to go to a Walmart. The company says the Putty Hill Avenue location just wasn't profitable enough. Economists say that's because discount stores like Walmart have low profit margins. So if there's not the volume of people coming through, um, that affects their margins because obviously if you're if you're only making one or two, three percent on, on um, items, if you have a low number of people going through, that does affect your mar uh, profitability. In its announcement, Walmart says there are more than 200 employees at the store. They will have the chance to transfer to another Walmart location. Irani says they shouldn't have trouble finding work as there's a retail worker shortage. I suspect that many of these retail stores are understaffed, what, what they were pre-COVID. Um, so again, this may be an opportunity for those 207 individuals who are losing their job. They may be, be it may be up, you know, um, uh, able to find employment fairly quickly in other retail establishments in and around the neighborhood. But those who regularly shop here say they prefer shopping in person to online, and it will be sorely missed. So when you come out to the store, you get exercise, you meet people, you see people you haven't seen in a long time. This is more than just a shopping experience. The store's last day open to the public will be April 5th. In Towson, Kim Dacey, WBAL-TV 11 News.